Hey, what's going on guys? Coming at you from the stream setup today. You know, I thought it would change it up a little bit uh, or maybe I was just too lazy to set up all the stuff uh, on the other side of the room. Um, it's, it's definitely not that. All right, anyways, I'm actually waiting for a few packages to arrive so I can make some video ideas that I have. Uh, you know, maybe some mic reviews, I don't know. I don't know, you have to wait and see, but I still wanted to make something today. So I've actually been sitting here browsing Twitch for a few hours, looking for things that I think people need help with, you know, just looking for ideas. And then it hit me. I've been making these videos about plugins and, and you know, beginner tips uh, to, to help your audio, but I never addressed kind of this basic idea and this basic thing. Most of you have already spent the time trying to figure out your, your mix, your levels or your volume, whatever, and however you want to say it. You've already spent the time I worked out the appropriate loudness of your stream, the difference between your voice and the game or whatever else you're streaming sounds good. But I'm noticing even though the volume of your voice may not be too loud, you're still clipping. So that's actually what we're going to be talking about today. All right, so basically clipping happens when you have your gain turned up too much and your audio signal is actually higher than your preamp can output. This ends up causing a lot of distortion in the signal. And if you actually look at the waveform, you'll see that the top and bottoms are cut off. And that's where, uh, the term clipping comes from. All right, and on the extreme side of things, this is what that can sound like. Notice that even though I'm not much louder than I was before, there's a ton of distortion on my voice, and this is just not uh, this is just not pleasant. All right, so depending if you have an extra loud microphone or a USB microphone, your starting place will vary a little bit. Um, with a USB microphone, a lot of the times there is a gain knob directly on the mic, like on this Blue Yeti. You want to go ahead and make sure you turn that all the way down. Uh, but something like this, Fee Fine. Uh, microphone doesn't have a gain knob on it at all. So you want to go into the window settings for the microphone and actually turn down the gain there. You can bring it down to like 75%, maybe even 50%. And actually we've talked about it before, but you want to do the same thing with the Blue Yeti. Even turning this gain knob down all the way sometimes isn't enough. So again, you can bring that down uh, in window settings. Or I guess it should say system settings if you're not using Windows, but it, it's all the same. So with an actual physical interface, there's usually going to be light next to the gain knob. There'll be a green, orange, and red light, and you could use these as a guide when you're adjusting your gain. So you wanna bring up your gain until you start hitting that orange light and then bring it down a little bit more. The orange is more of a warning light. You're not clipping then, but you don't wanna be constantly riding that because the chances when you do get loud of clipping are, are pretty high. And then obviously the red light is not good and that is when you're clipping and overdriving the preamp. So if, if you hit red at all, that means you need to bring your gain down. All right, so now that you have control over your gain for your mic or your interface, there's actually one other place that you can clip and that's actually an OBS itself. While it won't be as extreme as the example that I showed before with my preamp clipping, it's still, again, not pleasant. So let's jump over into OBS real quick and I'll show you how to maintain this perceived loudness without actually ever clipping. All right, so like every other time, once you open up OBS, go to your mic, you're gonna to wanna to click onto the settings wheel, go to filters. Um, you can see we already have compression here. I do like having um, a couple stages of compression. My mic uh, processor actually has uh, a compressor on it, but I do like adding a little bit more here in OBS as well. That's really not the point. Um, so what we're going to talk about here is actually adding a limiter, which does exactly what it sounds like it does. It limits the decibels um, of your audio. So whatever you set it at, it'll never uh, go any louder than that, or, or it won't cross um, that threshold. Um, so actually with, with vocals, the suggested decibels is negative 18 to negative six, while negative six is way closer to that clipping point. Uh, personally, I like to have it around negative 12 uh, dB. That just seems like kind of a safe zone for me. But I'm going to set the threshold for the limiter actually uh, to negative 15 uh, decibels. So a little bit lower than the negative 12. Uh, so that makes it again. So no matter how loud I am, the decibels will never go above negative 15 until is like I said, I'm gonna go to back to filters. Um, like I said, I like it around negative, um, negative 12. So I'm actually gonna add a gain plugin and I'm gonna add uh, plus three dB. Um, I guess I should type that in because that slider um, is terrible. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna add three dB after the fact. Um, and that should always get, if you look down here, 
that should always get the decibels to negative 12. And it's never gonna go above that ever. Uh, so I have this perceived loudness um, and I don't have to worry about clipping because my gain on my interface is set. And I know in OBS, I will never clip. Honestly, it's a pretty easy thing to let happen, uh, to let your audio clip because we're trying, you know, to make our audio louder and we're not really understanding uh, where we should be getting that, again, loudness from. Uh, so we crank the gain and we end up with this distorted audio signal. But as you see, it's a pretty easy thing to fix just as long as you know how and where you should be adjusting your levels. So with that said, next week when I'm scrolling through Twitch, I don't wanna see any of you guys clipping anymore. There's no excuse. All right, anyways, if you liked the video and found it helpful, make sure you click that like button, maybe share it around. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that so you do not miss any more future videos. And as always, my name is Seven Miles and I will see you guys in the next one.